take some hard to buff ink right here, put it in some markers. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I got a nice little collection right here. And uh, we'll see how it flows, how it goes, and um, go with the flow, I guess. That's what we're gonna do. So you can get a regular Copic marker empty. And I was like, well, why don't, why don't we try putting some hard to buff in it? Let's just see what happens. I mean, let's see if it flows. Uh, also, I got a OTR 208 paint liner. I got an AP five millimeter chisel marker right here. Uh, you'll stand up someday, bud. Uh, and I got an AP eight millimeter chisel hit and go. Uh, and I had to include it in the bit. Also, I got some hard to buff ink in this little AP dripper right here, because why not? Let's just add a little bit of hard to buff ink in this bad boy. I don't think we need a whole lot. Just a little bit to soak in there. Right here. But let's, let's just add a little bit over here for good measure. And we'll go ahead and let this sit for a bit. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, let's go ahead and add some ink to this bad boy. Screw that on, make sure it's nice and tight. All right, that feels good. All right, we'll set that aside for the nib moment. This is the AP five millimeter chisel marker. And as you can see, this is a press fit design. Not my favorite, but it does the job. And you know what, it's just a five millimeter chisel. Anyway, let's go ahead and drop some ink in this bad boy here. You basically just gotta pop it on like that and you're good to go. Anyways, let's, uh, let's uh, do some nib action and then get started on these slaps. All right guys, let's go ahead and start with the Copic first. And this is on an eggshell sticker. And I'm just gonna write Copic, real simple. Ooh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. That actually writes very, very nice. All right guys, let's go ahead and try the AP chisel out on this. Just see how it writes. Wow. That is very nice. That does very, very well. All right guys, let's go ahead and give the paint liner a shot. And this is on the eggshell marker. Ah, very nice. Lays down very, very nice. The hard to buff does flow very well through those paint style markers. What's my favorites of the bunch? Uh, it's a tough one. I gotta say it's probably the Copic and the AP, the AP five, oh, sorry about that. It's probably gonna be the Copic and the AP five millimeter. I think these two are gonna be my favorites of the bunch. And uh, either way, you're gonna be happy with any of these markers. If you wanna use a Molotov marker, uh, any of the other OTR markers, whatever it is you wanna use, as long as it's the right size to fit on these slaps, I think you'll be very, very happy with it. Get out of here, I wanna do a quick little update of that purple streaker that we made in the live stream because y'all been asking about it and uh, I want you to see how it looks. It is too buttery. God, it's really nice. Take a look at that. Let's hold on to it for another video. Check this out. <laughs> this is the big silver. The thing is, I need a big surface to ride on. That's the problem. Go ahead and prime the nib. You kind of have to like wear it down. You know what I mean? Wear it down to a point. But I just want you guys to see, see how it looks. You guys ready for this? <laughs> That's just too brutal. That's like what, like two and a half fingers wide? <laughs> it's gonna be too big for this, but I want you guys to see it. 
You can try and do it at an angle here. Ah, but you're missing all the beautiful fatness of it. <laughs> anyway, so let's uh, let's go ahead and retract this for now. Put it back into its hole. And uh, we'll figure out something to do with this. I'll, I'll, I'll think about this one. All right, so anyways, let's go to the closeout. Some people question whether it's hard to buff or not. It depends on what it is. Is it a chemical wipe? Is it painting over? You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a lot of different ways you can buff something. Uh, I'd say 99% of what you paint will get buffed or will fade or will get gone over by somebody else in the future. Another young writer is always there to take your spot. So uh, the earth keeps turning and uh, your paint will fade regardless. So paint more or not. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. I guess that's what I'm saying. But I will tell you this. I love the way that they feel. I like the way that they write. And um, I was pretty impressed with this Copic. I gotta tell you, I like this for slaps. Copic and hard to buff. I would have never expected it. I would have never expected it. Anyways, why don't we go ahead and close out this video. I gotta go, cause I'm hungry. I gotta nice. eat some food. Stay up, thank you for watching. This is artprimo.com, artprimo.com, artprimo.com your number one source for all things graffiti, art, or whatever it is you like to do. If it involves an ink, a paint, so there's a paint over here somewhere, whatever it is, give us a call, 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083. Be sure to hit the bell because I guess uh, some people have been unsubscribed from us. Like they didn't mean to unsubscribe YouTube somehow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the algo these days. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit the bell, um, cause I want you to keep up to date on what's going on. Anyways, I gotta go, peace.